with that? I'm doing good with what I'm doing. Stick a battery in there first. Oh, first, take off the, the lens cover. Yeah, I'm not. It's just always make it, it does help. No, I don't want it to flip flop and go. It won't flip flop, but. Thank you. I want to film him his first encounter with this thing. It's relatively easy to, to deal with. It's just a lot of little intricacies that you have to get familiar with first. Okay. Be real careful not to stress the plastic on that. Not on the guards, but the drone itself. These things are too fragile. It costs too much. You get them anymore pretty much. And you can't even, you might find one on eBay that's used. You can't buy them new. Alright. In fact, that's the part of the trouble I was having with the software, getting them to fly again, was the update. They hide their updates because they want you to buy their new stuff. Yeah. Better. Flip it over for a little bit. I think anything flies a lot better than one had. There's a little breeze that keeps me going to be able to see this. How well it does. Yeah, the power is on the top. There's a little button on the side there that you push. And his license is the same thing. Okay, the clock is ticking, just so you know. Just let go of the sticks and, and see if it is stable. If it's not stable, if it's weaving around everywhere, don't fly figure out what's wrong with it. Seems pretty stable there. Yeah, you know, it's highly stable. There could be a 40 mile an hour wind and it would stay right there. Here I am trying to turn tilt it and turn it. All right, it's gonna go up and come back. Just let it let it do its thing. It's fine. Bye. <laughs> At least you got to see it, right? <laughs> I hope it doesn't get in the way of that damn plane. Nah, I think I have it set for 225 or 250 feet. <laughs> it's, it, it's coming back to its home spot. Now it should stop and, and descend. There it goes. Now, if you're low on battery and you're not, take take that in consideration. That could be a problem. It's fine. It's coming back. You may have hit a stick. Now, it should land where it took off from. But I can't remember if we set the home to there or not. You plugged back in and got a, a video? Yeah. Alright, uh, just go ahead.
40 pull. Yeah, that's about right. Between 40 and 50. Pretty cool, isn't it? What makes it so cool above other drones that I've seen is its stability from the satellites. I can, I, I've flown one other drone that did not have it and it was a bear no just to keep still. What does it say? Everything it shows is, oh, it's 29% battery. It's, it's a warning I set for 30%. You still have a few minutes left. 15 minutes is what I I trust. It said 20 when I bought it, but I've never left it up for 20. It's just too damn expensive. When I bought this one, they were still 800 bucks. No, the drone. The batteries were 100. Well, check this out. Uh, let go of the stick. It, it, it has to be where the satellite says it should be. 24% is really bad. Right, let's, let's put another battery in if you want to continue flying it. warm out today too. Careful perspective. Bye. <laughs> now remember, if you ever have to use that, trees are easily a hundred feet. 